this part would go right over your laptop. So like this would be able to sit on your laptop screen. And then it even has this nice little extra like foot back here. So that way it could help prop it so that all this weight isn't on your laptop screen. more really cool brand new tech items for the channel. Special thanks to this company who was nice enough to send me this portable tri-screen monitor. Yes, this turns one 14 inch PC monitor into three 14 inch the monitors. For somebody like me who used to be a server administrator, this could have really came in handy a few times when I was on site for a long day and hated switching in between all of my different windows on one screen. So of course we're going to get on the overhead rig. We're going to unbox this to see exactly what comes inside of here. And then I'm going to set this up on my MacBook and show you how this works. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out this portable tri-screen monitor. All right, so let's open up our portable tri-screen monitor. Now this should work with most 14 inch laptops, has a narrow bezel design, extremely compact and portable, multiple OS compatibility, triple monitor, improved efficiency. And also they even sent me a little uh, carrying case so I can put it in this uh, when I'm not using it. Not a whole lot to show you around the box. IPS panels, connections, USB and HDMI, 14 inch, 16 by 10, full HD. And uh, that's really it. Let me, uh, let's open it up and look at it. So look at that, how to properly connect to your laptop. Identify your laptop ports, Thunderbolt 3 connections, HDMI port, other displays, etc. Love that it has all that information right there. That's phenomenal. Then we have this nice piece of foam. That is nice thick foam protecting it. And here is our triple monitor. So look at this, wow. So crazy. So over here, we have a couple of ports, two USB-C ports. This looks like a mini HDMI, and this is one of the screens. And then uh, if you look on this side, we've got a few more ports. It looks like the same over here, another mini HDMI, two USB-Cs. This has uh, volume rockers, very nice. This one also had those, okay, okay. So let me try to uh, fold this around for you. So you'd essentially fold this out and then you'd fold this one out, and then this part would go right over your laptop. So like this would be able to sit on your laptop screen, and then it even has this nice little extra like foot back here, so that way it could help prop it so that all this weight isn't on your laptop screen. Two massive, well, two massive thumbs up. So I like that that's adjustable. That, I mean, with this being adjustable, you could use it on a bigger than 14 inch laptop. Like if you had a 17 inch, you could set it on this and then have your two screens on the side, but uh, very cool. So I'm gonna close this back up. Love how compact that is, wow. And let's look at what else we have down in here. We have uh, more foam, okay, and some cables, look at this. So yeah, this those two ports were mini HDMIs and this comes with two mini HDMI to full HDMI cables, so that's awesome. Even says it right there. Then uh, this is a USB-C to regular USB-A cable. This is for power only, all right. Then uh, power and video, USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to USB-C, and then a USB-A power only cable. So this is USB-C to USB-A as well. Very cool. What is this? Nice, they include some protective caps, very cool. Also, I just noticed that these are uh, angled USB-C cables. That's really nice. Nice little cable tie and a nice user's guide. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's, uh, that's it. This doesn't come out. Nothing else down in here. All of our cables over here. So I'm going to leave these films on until I actually set this up. But uh, this is it. 14 inch tri-screen monitor. Let's get out my MacBook and uh, see if this will work with it. I'm thinking it will. Let's give it a go. 
All right, so we have our M2 MacBook Air and we're gonna set up this tri-screen monitor. So one caveat here is because I'm using a MacBook, I'm gonna be using the USB-C cables. And as you can see, these are labeled video and power. That means that this cable is gonna give the screen power and pass the video on to the screen as well. If I was not using this MacBook and I was using the HDMI and I was using the mini HDMI to HDMI cable, I would need to run each screen to a USB port to have it powered. Either a USB port on your laptop if you have room or if you have like just a regular brick, you could just plug that into a power outlet and do it that way. So we're gonna connect all this up and uh, see exactly what this looks like. Let's do it. All right, so first things first is we're gonna open up our cables. So these cables, very nice, nice L-shape cable there and nice little protective caps. So we'll take these off, do the same here. And then let's open up our screen. So bring this one around. There we go, a little something like this and so i'm going to it's a little bit small because my m2 is of course only a 13 point some odd inch screen but with having a little kickstand in the back it still makes it very very usable so essentially it's kind of set up now we just got to run all of our cables so i'm gonna run me a cable to this usb port and then to this usb port like so and then we'll take off a little protective screen here. And if you look at that, it's already showing on the screen. Wow, didn't even have to do anything. Now, I thought these were volume. These are actually brightness. So we can, you know, take this as low or as high as we need. That seems to be 100% there. Very nice. And then let's repeat it over here. So we'll plug in this cable and then run it to this USB port. I wonder if it'll automatically configure here as well. No signal. Interesting. I wonder why that one has no signal. Let's take a look at our max settings here. So, looks like the problem is that this Mac only supports one extra screen, it looks like. The one extra screen. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But you can see that if you have the correct setup, you'd be able to easily drag this right over. Let me actually rearrange these. There we go. So now I should be able to, yeah. See, I can drag that to over there. And if it supported the extra screen, I'd be able to drag it over here. I'm very surprised that it doesn't, that the Mac doesn't. So sadly, this is my only laptop and verified there is that uh, the M1 and M2 MacBook Airs only support one external display up to 6K. So that's why the screen just says no signal. That's a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping to be able to show you all three screens working. If you have a higher end MacBook Pro, it would support the extra monitor. This base model M2 MacBook Air though, only supports one screen, which is why this one showed up. If I was to unplug that screen, then you see this screen instantly comes on and works. So it's not a limitation at all of these portable tri-screen monitors. It is completely a limitation of my M2 MacBook Air. At the end of the day though, you can see both screens work. I can even, you know, arrange these now like so, and then, you know, can drag something to over here. And the picture quality is, is, I mean, great. It's definitely not nearly the brightness of this Retina display on my M2 MacBook Air, but it's good enough to see what you need to see. If you have an Excel sheet over here you're working on or something like that, it would be perfectly fine. And so that will essentially do it for this tri-screen monitor. Again, truly hate that I could not show you uh, both of these working. I don't have like a Windows laptop laying around or anything like that. My Chromebook does not support but one external monitor as well. And sadly, same for this uh, M2 MacBook Air. With a higher end MacBook or with one of the newer Intel Windows PCs, you'd be able to easily plug this in and everything would work exactly as it should. If your Windows laptop has two USB-C ports, you should be able to
to plug it in this way where each monitor gets power and video through the USB-C cables. If not, of course, like I mentioned, you could just plug in a USB cable to power. I'll of course have this exact model linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one of these for yourself. And that should do it for today's video. Sorry about the, sorry, I, I, I hate it. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.